This is a drawing game for people that cannot draw. Hey friends, do you love drawing games but have the artistic prowess of a drunk toddler like me? Well, worry not, because in Artbox, you'll be able to win even when you play against Leonardo da Vinci himself. Probably. The game is very simple. Each round, everyone is given a choice of two cards that describes an object. The object that you chose will be what you have to manually draw on this sheet of paper for that round. The twist here though is that four of these dice will be rolled just before you draw, and everyone can only draw their objects using the shapes rolled on these four dice. So, in this case, I can only draw my anchor using one circle, two triangles, and one square. Though a circle can be an ellipse or oval, and a square can be a rectangle. Okay, so using these rolled shapes, I could draw this object like so. Gosh, is this just the best anchor ever or what? Anyway, once you are done with your drawing, you have to then submit it and take one of these tokens with the lowest number. This token tells us how fast we drew, so getting this number one token means that you are the fastest drawer for that round. Once everyone has submitted their drawing, and taken their tokens, all the cards that the players chose will be collected face down and a few red herring cards are then added from the deck. This pile will then be shuffled and each one of the cards are laid out for everyone to see. And now, knowing that two of these cards are red herrings, everyone has to match each drawing to a card and write the answers on this other sheet of paper. Obviously, this excludes your own drawing. So, if you think drawing number two is a flower, you'll have to jot down flower on box number two. Once everyone is done guessing all the drawings, the answers are then revealed and everything is scored. But before we do that, I'll actually give you an example of a real round that I played recently. So see if you can guess everything correctly. I'll give you some time. Okay, so here are the answers. How did you do? Let me know in the comments down below. Once all of the answers are revealed like this, each drawing is then scored based on how many people were able to guess it correctly. A total of two points are given out each round. One point for the drawing which has the most correct guesses, which in this case will be this one with five correct guesses, and another point for the player with the most correct answers, though a player can only get a maximum of one point per round. In the case of a tie, say if these two drawings were correctly guessed by all the players, you then check their tokens to see who was the faster drawer out of the two. In this case, this person would win the point for that round. And that's one round of the game. They want you to keep playing until someone has a certain number of points, but I usually just play a fix for rounds instead since this can take a long time to fulfill. And yeah, that's basically all the rules for this game. So how is Artbox? Well, the game is actually really good. It's very clever for being able to basically level everyone's artistic abilities. You know, anyone can draw these simple shapes, so the game is testing your creativity and not your drawing skills. Honestly, the best kind of drawing game. I haven't seen another drawing game that does this so well or really at all. It's very accessible, it's really fun, and has minimum downtime because everything is simultaneous. Also, while drawing these things may look quite easy, it can actually be pretty challenging when you have to speed draw them instead. Or you can also just choose one of these weirdly difficult cards instead. I've played this game a lot of times, and it's always a banger in whatever group I brought it to. I don't know why this game isn't as popular as other party games like Telestrations. The only kinda negative thing that I could think of is that it's only good at higher player counts. I would say 5 to 8 is good, the more the merrier. Yes, I am reaching for this, because I cannot really find a fault with this game. Overall, I'll give this game an easy 9 out of 10. Very solid and fun party game. And yeah, that's it for this really short review. Check out my channel for other videos like this, and leave a comment down below. That's it, see ya!